Chapter 11, Summary Secure Unused Ports A simple method that many administrators use to help secure the network from unauthorized access is to disable all unused ports on a switch. Mitigate MAC address table attacks the simplest and most effective method to prevent MAC address table overflow attacks is to enable port security. Port security limits the numbers of valid MAC addresses allowed on a port. It allows an administrator to manual configure MAC addresses for a port or to permit the switch to the dynamically learn a limited number of MAC addresses. Enable port security. The switch port port security command was rejected. This is because port security can only be configured on manually configured access ports or manually configured trunk ports. By default, layer 2 switch ports are set to, the, to dynamic auto. Therefore, in the example, the port is configured with the switch port mode access interface configu configuration command. Limit and learn MAC address. To set the maximum number of MAC addresses allowed on a port, use the following command. The default port security value is 1. The maximum number of secure MAC addresses that can be configured depends the switch and the IOS port security aging absolute the secure addresses on the port are deleted after the spe specified aging time in activity the secure addresses on the port are de deleted only if they are inactive or the specified aging time Port security violation mode. If the MAC address of a device attached to the port differs from the list of secure addresses, then a port violation occurs. By default, the port enters the error disabled state. To set the port security violation mode, use, use the following command. Switch open parenthesis config dash if close parenthesis number pound switch port port dash security violation ports in error disabled state when when a port is shut down and placed in the error disabled state no traffic is sent or received on it on the on that port a series of port security related messages displays on the console the administrator should determine what caused the security violation. If an unauthorized device is connected to a secure port, the security threat is eliminated before re re enabling the port. Verifying port security. To disable port security settings for the switch, use the show port security command. The example indicates that all 24 interfaces are configured with the switch port security command because the maximum allowed is 1 and the violation mode is shut down. No devices are connected. Therefore, the current address count is 0 for each interface. Step to mitigate VLAN hopping attacks. Step 1. Disable DTP, auto-trunking. Negotiations or non trunking ports by using the switch port mode access interface configuration command. Step 2 Disable unused ports and put them in an unused VLAN. Step 3 Manually enable the trunk link on a trunking port by using the switch port mode trunk command. Step 4 Disable DTP auto trunking. Negotiations on trunking ports by using the switch port non-negotiable command. Step 5. Set the native VLAN to a VLAN other than VLAN 1 by using the switch port trunk native VLAN VLAN number command. 
DHCP snooping. DHCP snooping does not rely on source MAC addresses. Instead, DHCP snooping determines when, whether DHCP messages are from an administratively configured trusted or untrusted source. It then filters DHCP messages and rate limits DHCP traffic from un untrusted sources. Step to implement DC DHCP snooping. Step 1. Enable DHCP snooping by using the IP DHCP snooping global configuration command. Step 2. On trusted ports, use the IP DHCP snooping trust interface configuration command. Step 3. Limit the number of DHCP discovery messages that can be re received per second or on untrusted ports by using the IP DHCP snooping limit rate. Interface configuration command. Step 4. Enable DHCP snooping by VLAN or by a range VLANs by using the IP DHCP snooping VLAN global configuration command. Dynamic ARP inspection. In a typically ARP attack, a threat actor can send an solici unsolicited ARP replies to other host on the subnet with the MAC address of the threat actor and the IP address of the default gateway to prevent ARP spoofing and the resulting ARP poisoning. A switch must ensure that only valid ARP requests and replies are rel relayed. DAI Implementation Guidelines To mitigate the chances of ARP spoofing and ARP poisoning, follow this DAI Implementation Guidelines. Enable DHCP snooping global, globally. Enable DHCP snooping on selected VLANs. Enable DAI on selected VLANs. Configure trusted interfaces for DHCP snooping and ARP inspection. DAI example. Destination MAC. Check the de destination MAC address in the Ethernet header against the target MAC address in ARP body. Source MAC. Checks the source MAC address in the Ethernet header against the sender MAC address in the ARP body. IP address. Checks the ARP body for invalid and unexpected IP addresses including addresses 0000, 0, 0, 0 255, 255, 255, 255, and all IP multi multicast addresses. Portfast and BPDU guard. Portfast. Portfast immediately brings an interface config configured as an access or trunk port to the forwarding state from a blocking state. Bypassing the listening and learning states. Apply to all end user ports. Port pass should only be configured on ports attached to end devices. BPDU guard. Immediately error disables a port that receives a BPDU like port pass. Guard should only be configured on interfaces attached to end devices. Configure port fast. Port fast can be enabled on an interface by using the spanning tree port fast interface configuration command. Alternatively, port fast can be configured globally on all access ports by using the spanning tree port fast default glo global configuration command. To verify whether port fast is enabled globally, you can use either the show running config begin span command or the show spanning tree summary command. To verify if port pass is enabled, an interface use the show running config interface type number command as shown in the, the show spanning tree interface type or number detail command can be also used for verification. 
BPDU guard can be enabled on a port by using the spanning tree but BPDU guard enable. Interface configuration command. Alternatively, use the spanning tree port plus BPU but BPDU but guard default global configuration command to globally enable BPDU guard on all port fast enab enabled ports. To disable information about the, st the state of spanning tree, use the show spanning tree co summary command. Port fast default and B BPDU guard are both enabled as default state for port configure as access mode. That's all. Thank you.